Welcome back. Now, a few days ago, I started you with a uh, basic banjo lesson number one, and I gave you two right hand things to do. I gave you a, a roll pattern. I don't even know if I even told you the name of it. It doesn't matter. And then I gave you a little pinch pattern. So let, let's review those real quick. And then I have some encouraging words. And then I'm going to show you something new today. And today's lesson won't be super long because I, I want you to have just a little bit of information to work with. I want you to get it good and clean and smooth before you advance to phase three. So the rolls that we practice, we practice the pinch pattern. It's just the three pinch, or third string, and then pinch on the top and bottom with your thumb and middle finger. So three, pinch. Now remember, you, you need to rest a couple of fingers, either your ring finger, your pinky, ring finger and pinky, but rest something there. You can see where I've, that black spot on, the, on my banjo head is where I've rested my fingers, and that's not... Well, there's some dirt there, but mostly it's just where the, the, the coating or the paint on this head has worn off. So anyway, so that's your three pinch, four pinch, and I hope you practice that enough so that you could sit here and carry on a conversation with me and do it. It's kind of like walking. You should be able to walk and talk. And if you don't have it smooth enough that you can do that, and not have to think about it a whole lot, then I want you to go back and practice that some more. Same, same thing with the, uh, the other pattern, alternating roll, which I gave you is the three, two, five, one. So, so, so three, two, five, one. So three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one. You should be able to do that and not have to think about it a whole lot. So today we're going to add, so if this is walking, today we're going to add a little chewing gum. So three, pinch, four, pinch, roll. Three, pinch, four, pinch, roll. Now, you got to be honest with yourself. You can, you, you you won't disappoint me, but you'll disappoint yourself if you've not really given yourself plenty of time to get that down. And it's okay if it takes you longer than three or four days to get that. Work on it. Spend some time every day getting that roll down, getting getting that pattern to where it's comfortable, so you don't have to think about it because. You're not going to have time to be thinking about it. We're, we're, going to, we're going to constantly add more and more things on top of that. That's just, that's the basis. That's the foundation of what we're going to build on. And so we're going to have things that we put on top of that that we will have to think about. So I don't want you to have to think about the role. I tell my students all the time, hey, no thinking. You know, don't be thinking. You just have to be able to do that. I mean, I, I'm sure none of you, well... I won't say none because there's always that exception that uh, has to think when they walk. Uh, left foot, right foot. You 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 don't want you don't want to be doing that. You you just want that roll to happen. And so spend a bunch of time practicing it. And if you if you really haven't spent that time, stop this video, go back and do that, and then come back when when you're ready. You when you're ready. This video will wait, and so you go practice. But today, we're going to work on our left hand. The beauty of this thing is it's only one finger. We just, we're just going to use one finger on our left hand. And we're going to give it two jobs today. We're going to do a slide. And we're going to do a hammer on. And you think, well, most banjo player teachers, they uh, show me how to do some chords. And then I'm not going to do that. I want to get you to play it. I want you to play a song. If I can get you to play this song, you are hooked. And 
then then you can learn if you if you can learn this then i think it's going to give you the confidence to learn anything else that you so desire so let so when we get through our lessons and which there's probably only going to be a couple more after this we're, we're going to get you through a song pronto and get you playing something and isn't that the goal you want to be able to play the banjo so today slides and hammer-ons and we're just going to use one finger we're going to use our middle finger on our left hand your social finger let me scoot around here and get a little better view for you remember our banjo's in our lap not on a leg and remember we've got our straight back chair straight back chair all right and we've got our picks on Thumb pick, two finger picks. I really don't care what brand of finger picks that you use. Does it does not matter to me. It's not important. All right. So here's our first thing we're going to do. We're going to take our middle finger. It's our social finger. I'd sh I'd show you that, but then I get a bunch of down votes. So <laughs> take our so, and we're going to go to our third string. So we're going to one, two, three. And we're going to be right there. That's all. Now I want you to hold that string down. Now, how tight do you hold it? Well, let's let's just touch it. That don't sound so hot. So you got to push down a little bit of pressure. Now it's a little buzzy, a little harder, and that's your note. That's all I want you to do is I want you to hit that string and let that note ring. Now here's the part that you may not enjoy. <laughs> We're going to slide that finger to the fourth fret. So we're going to hit that string and slide to the fourth fret. Now, your fingers may get sore. Okay, truth is your fingers will get sore, but only one. Only your social finger. So it's going to get sore. So you're going to hit that note. And then we're going to slide it up to the fourth fret. So to there, to four. So hit the note. And then slide. Note, slide. And that is a slide. Nothing more, nothing less. There you go. Note, slide, just the third string, and I want you to do that a bunch. Now that's your slide. Then your hammer on, another middle finger thing, you're going to hit your fourth string, that's the big one, you're going to hit it, hit it good and solid, and then you're going to take that middle finger and we're going to put it down at the second fret really quick and it's going to make a noise so hit hit the string and then put your finger down put it down quick don't put it down slow if you put it down slow it'll sound like that's no good you want it down quick so hit the note and hammer that's called a hammer or hammer on So you got a slide and a hammer on. Slide, hammer on. Now, those are the two things I really want you to spend a bunch of time doing. I want you to get them clean. I don't want to hear any, well, I'm not going to hear anything unless you track me down and play the banjo for me, which, well, I'd be okay with that. Uh, but we'll, uh, but I want you to do it. I, I, I don't want you to hear any dead notes or buzzing or rattles or anything. I want you. I want those notes to be super clear when you play them. So you got, you got to listen to what you're doing. Now, let let's complicate this just 
just a, just the least little bit because you got a left hand thing and you got a right hand thing. Let's let's put them together. Let's 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 do it with that first little pinch pattern. So remember, we went three pinch, four pinch. All right, let me back up here a little bit and we'll get all of me in there. Lord knows we need to see all of me. All right, three pinch, four pinch. Now remember what we did. We had a slide that was on the third string and a pinch that was on the fourth string. So let's, let me show you what I want you to do. I want you to hit three, slide, pinch, and then the hammer, pinch. Because that hammer's on the fourth string. So three, pinch, hammer, you to try to do that this week. Three, pinch, four, pinch. One, two, three, four. All right, you got that? And then we can practice it with our roll. It's an alternating roll. Remember, it's three, two, five, one, or thumb index, thumb middle. So Remember, it goes, we did three, two, five, one, and then we did it off the four. Four, two, five, one. So, we're going to do slide. And then on the four, we're going to hit the hammer. So, slide. sense. Now you got your slide, two, five, one, and then hammer, two, five, one. So three, two, five, one, hammer, two, five, one. Now look, that doesn't seem like a lot of information, or maybe it does. So I need you to work, 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 work on that and get it smooth and, and refer back, refer back to the video. You can hit the pause button, or stop, or you can rewind. You can do that as many times as you want to. I'm okay with that. It won't bother me a bit, because I won't know you've done it. So you back that video up, and you go through each of those spots until you, until you understand it, until you get it in your ear. And I want you to be able to do that roll and pinch smooth where you're not thinking about it and I, I want I want it to be natural and I want the slides and that hammer on to where you can do it without thinking about it because if you're thinking about it you won't you won't be able to think ahead and at some point we're gonna have to be thinking ahead in our song to know what's coming up next so for those of you that's moving along pretty quick I'll give you one more little thing we're gonna just combine those two two pieces and you, you work on those, okay? And then I'll see you again back here in three or four days. Shouldn't take you too awful long to get that smoothed out, but if it takes you three or four weeks, then you come back in three or four weeks. There'll be a video here waiting for you. All right, y'all be sure to subscribe too, but let me show you this real quick. So you're gonna do your slide with your pinch, and then a hammer, pinch, and then do the roll. may seem like a lot and if that's overwhelming just go back and work on those slides and hammers and then slowly incorporate it into your right hand pattern too and I promise you you can do this I have little kids and old kids do this and so I know you can too it's just a matter of spending the time with it and I, I wish you wish you would spend you know a little bit of time every day. I tell my students that 
I want you to practice every day that you brush your teeth. Now, okay, you don't have teeth. <laughs> All right. I want you to practice every day. So we'll see you in a few days. Uh, subscribe. Hit the like button. And uh, go back and watch the other video. That'll help you get tuned up. And next next time, we're we're actually going to start on we're actually going to start on song. I promise you, we're going we're going to start on we're going to start on a tune, and then I'll show you a quick and easy way to check your tuning without using a tuner. And that that'll be next week's that'll be next week's lesson. Until then, y'all y'all have a great day. We'll see you in a few.